Welcome to Roadmap to Launch Your Site. Now in this little presentation what I'll be doing is taking you through a basic pipeline or roadmap and things that you should take into account when you're launching your site and course. So we're going to start going through these slides and you should see what I'm talking about. Okay, so the first one, I'm going to welcome you to the Launch Your Site Roadmap. Purpose of this roadmap is to guide you through the process of creating and launching your course site or membership site. So it is full of helpful tips and a schedule for even newbie instructors to follow. Every course creator works in a different way, but this is a generic formula uh, that will guide you. Okay, so you might change things as you're going, but basically the principles are the same. So this is going from actually creating your site right the way through and things that you should bear in mind. So let the journey begin. So, okay, so first slide we're gonna look at here is you need to do some research. So do your research and check that your niche is popular. Okay, then you can use Google to see your competition and what they are doing. So you can Google and see what other other instructors are doing with their course creations and get some ideas and those sort of things. You can also use Facebook ads to check the amount of people interested in your subject. So you can actually, you don't have to pay for an ad, but you can go through the process and you can find out how many people are actually interested in your actual subject. So you can use Google keywords to check the popularity as well of your particular keywords that you're going to be using in the site and bear those in mind as you're moving forward. So research is a very key part of this. So moving forward from there, what we're going to do then is you're going to just uh, set up your identity. So identity is your company or your presence, how you want to look to other people. So that in um, coordination with the research side kind of um, gels together. So branding is everything. Make sure your brand has impact. Okay. Watch out for colors that you want to use and things like that and stick to those. Select the colors and the typefaces and the style you want for your brand. So picking things like typefaces, fonts, and um, those sort of things and styles that you want to use. Now there's lots of free tools that you can use. You can use tools like Canva to create ideas or hire someone to do it for you uh, using like 99designs, Fiverr or Upwork are popular ways of sourcing or hiring people. So research other popular sites if you're looking for inspiration. So if you want to do design yourself, look for other sites for inspiration and get feedback from the ever helpful Zenla community, our Facebook community. Okay, so moving forward from there, we're actually going to do a site um, and course planning. So you need to draw out a simple site map. Um, don't overcomplicate it to start with, yeah, but make sure you can expand on it later. So you want to keep it nice and nice and tight and then be able to expand on it later. This is a site map. So you basically can draw something out. So home about us, contact us page. And you can use that as a building block to build other pages into that later as you're moving forwards. So you also want to select images you want to use for your pages. Um, there's uh, sites like Pixabay or image search on, on New Zenla is a good place to start. So you can find lots of good images you might want to use and incorporate into your site or your courses or your course images or any of that sort of stuff. So get your site and your course copy ready. So prepare all your course copy and your content. I generally put them into folders per page um, or per course and then I've got them at hand and I can put them straight in. So plan out your course and how you want it to work for your students. I.e., is it going to be a membership site? Is it going to be payment plans or one-off payments? You know, you've got to think about these things going forwards. So also think, are you going to use any, any external integrations in the course or site? Um, if you are, make sure Zenda supports them and ask the community. So foreseen is forewarned. So when I say integrations, I mean things like, are you gonna integrate with MailChimp? Um, are you gonna do some Zapier, Zap links in there and those sort of things? If I'm talking about those and you don't understand them, it's probably because you haven't used any of those. And in which case you can skip it for now, but it's something that Zenda does support. So you need to be aware of it. And if you take any of the courses, then you'll understand. So are you going to use any automations for your emails in your courses or site, i.e. when someone completes a course, they get a custom email, or when someone enrolls, they get a custom email for information on automations, visit tutorials.newzenda.com forward slash arsenla, where I've got loads of helpful um, tutorials on there that should help you out with lots of things. Now, um, 
Zenla by default has system emails that do go out so you are covered but you might want to set your own custom automations up so when I, when I mention the word automations it's something that you're setting up yourself if you don't understand it again look through the Ask Zenla videos there at tutorials.newzenla.com forward slash Ask Zenla and that should be clear for you guys okay so moving forwards from here we're going on to building your site so before you create your first course you need to build your site pages as you already have all the copy images prepared it should be a breeze uh, use tutorials.newzenla.com to learn how to build a site we've got lots of helpful tutorials in there you can use the Facebook community and ask them what they think which is very very good stick to your branding guidelines again make sure you're following all your branding so next thing after you've completed your course and you're happy with it your site and you're happy with it you need to build your course so now you're ready to start to build your first course use tutorials.newzenla.com to learn how to create courses once you're happy with the content you can move on um, you need to test it and those sort of things but we're going to get to that in a second so testing the site and course so visit newzenla.com ask Zenla, find out how you can log in as a student test your whole site on desktop tablet and mobile is crucial make sure it all works uh, test all the forms work as expected and automation so make sure you're receiving those you're receiving them both as a student and as an instructor to make sure that all works fine as well as your site and your courses are concerned so the next thing after that is the launch so now all the work is done you can safely launch your site and course when using the pro and premium package make sure you set up domains or subdomains and do another check again tutorials.newzenla.com forward slash ask Zenla is the place to go for any help on anything to do with Zenla so moving forward to marketing so now you've got your site and your course is launched so you have your site and course launched now you need to shout about it so you need to get it out there so set up social media sites and uh, social sites and start telling people to join groups that are applicable to your niche give them something for free to get them to sign up so get them to hook into that pages the main aim here is to get them to sign up on your site so you can offer them deals later as a kind of email list uh, or get them to sign straight up you can create funnels landing pages run live webinars live streams with New Zenla, live to generate your leads okay make sure you have added Google Analytics and or Facebook pixels stay active and help other people to raise your profile so when I say stay active make sure that you're also giving something out so people are getting to know you they know you're a nice person you're helping them out and it shows that you're an expert in your field and they're more likely to then come in and take your course don't just spam people this is a massive one don't just send emails out to people about your course to do to do and they receive emails people will unsubscribe if you do that it's a real bad marketing um, technique um, I get loads of emails and I just delete them because people are just spamming me okay moving on so engagement so we want to trigger network effects by building community so make sure you've got communities turned on inside New Zenla. again you can go to tutorials.newzenla.com forward slash arsenla and that tells you how to build a community and discussion groups so you set up a community on New Zed with on <laughs> New Zed on New Zenla using the community feature you can also activate lessons in lessons you can activate discussions you can stay active on the community and offer lots of value so you're offering value for them and they're again getting to know you you can run live classes using New Zen live as well so from that point on you're ready you're off so you can just uh, sort of rinse that repeat it and uh, repeat those processes so good luck to everyone this roadmap hopefully it's helping you and you can check it off find the downloads uh, you can download these and you can click them off there's a print version there's also a full color version and there's also a canva template so you can go in and check those off uh, as you actually complete them I, if you're a new uh, instructor I do say you should go through those and click all of those things off as you're going if you have any problems get on the Facebook group post that you're having problems with the roadmap maybe hashtag roadmap and then we can get on to that and tell you um, what you're doing wrong or how you can do things better also the community are there to help you as well so that is the site launch roadmap for Zenla 